Well, I think there's a difference, Mark, between excellence yeah. and perfection, right? When you do your podcast or I do therapy or I do my writing or cooking a meal, I'd like to do it as well as I can. And I'd like to be developing all the time. That seems to me a very different way of looking at things than perfection. I'm not trying to perfect something because that's a ludic what is perfect? I don't I don't really understand that. You know, we're not purring pussycats, they're perfect. You know, they don't have these yeah. issues. <laughs> they look gorgeous, they smell gorgeous, they're lovely to touch or whatever, right? Yeah. Right? We're humans. We are complicated, knobbly, difficult. <laughs> um people who have the desire to express ourselves. And I think expressing ourselves and come learning about the world and ourselves and how we are in it and trying to do what we can as well as we can is a much more interesting activity than perfection, frankly. Yeah, there's a, well, he's, he passed last year, but there's a guy called Ramdas who I always enjoyed listening to. And he, he talked about the, the idea of when we walk through a forest we're not looking at trees going, that one's too tall, too short, too fat. You know, Correct. that one doesn't have enough leaves. And there is, I don't know, there is something about this investigation or my own lines of self-inquiry where I'm trying to balance that, I, that sense of how can I evolve just with my own essence and my own curiosities rather than, I don't know, trying to press something on top of that development. Yeah, that's a really lovely image because we're all trees. And as we know, trees are interconnected. Yes. And what makes us interesting to the other trees is that we're different. And the thing is, of course, when we're adolescents, we all want to be the same. But then the minute we're the same, we need to differentiate. So, right, it, it's, it, we, we have to be part of something and feel accepted so that we can actually be the tree that we are with the other trees. But the point is that industries that are so profitable want to tell us that we should all look exactly like a birch tree of yeah. a particular type and you're right it's a great image that um he had and it's it just drives people crazy literally crazy but it almost and when you said that it made me think of the idea of when we when we try to present our uniqueness in the form of competition like being yeah. you know, the best yeah. birch tree, for example, because that's what the that's that's a template that we've been set. That's where we kind of drive ourselves to a sense of despair. Well, I think if we all have to be Elon Musk, God forbid, <laughs> right? It's which is what's held up as as a kind of heroic figure now. 